excellency who have represented not just your school but your country in the Olympics. Now we are here to fire up the UCLA football team, but what better way to do that with the inspiration from some of our Olympians that you are going to meet right now. Danusha Francis is currently a freshman on the UCLA women's gymnastics team and was a reserve athlete for the British Olympic gymnastic team this summer in London. Give it up for Danusha. also a current UCLA student studying biology. She has medaled multiple times in badminton, international championships, and competed in women's singles in badminton at the 2012 London Olympics. Let's hear it for Rena. Girl, you gotta give a big wave. I mean, they're cheering for you. John Spira is UCLA's new head coach for the men's volleyball team. Spira won two national titles when he played here at UCLA, has since won titles as an assistant coach and head coach. John is a two-time Olympic assistant coach of the U.S. men's volleyball team, of course in London this summer, as well as the 2008 Beijing Games when the U.S. brought home the gold. Give it up for John Spira. John, John, you know what it feels like to be SC, do you not? Uh, it's my favorite thing in life. Uh, actually, one time we were playing at SC, uh, it was my senior year, and I was playing left back, and I dug a ball. I didn't dig it very well, and they made the mistake of putting the band right behind the, the court. And so I dug the ball into the band, and one of my good buddies, Stein Metzger, who's an assistant with the women right now, he goes running full speed at the band. So I go, this is going to be good. I'm going to follow him. So I'm running right after him. He goes into the band with his arms flailing like this, like he's trying to take out a Trojan. And he doesn't get the ball and gets into a little tip. We had to pull him out of there, but that was a great moment for me. I loved it when he went into the band. I like it. Throwing elbows, taking him down, taking down the Trojans. Well done. All right. Adam Krikorian was a women's water polo coach. Oh, you got some fans here at UCLA and went on to head the women's national team over the summer in London. In the 2012 Olympics, Krikorian helped lead the U.S. women's water polo team to gold. Well done. And Adam played and has been a part of UCLA's water polo program for 17 years and within that won 15 national titles. I mean, well, uh, I mean, don't don't you have like a, I mean, you've got to have a highlight, my friend. Well, I, I've done about everything in this sport. Uh, and I won a gold medal, won some national championships. But like John said, you know, beating SC is, is special. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And especially in our sport, when you get to do it, not just in a crosstown rivalry game, but when you get to do it in a national championship game, and fortunately, I was able to do it five times, beat SC for the national championship. Nothing better than that. Nothing better in life. Well said, well said. And now, it is my honor to introduce to you, you know him well, Mr. Rafer Johnson. Rafer was a two-time Olympic athlete competing in the decathlon in the 1956 and 1960 Olympics and breaking the world record in the 1958 to light the torch in 1984 for the Olympic Games in Los Angeles. Give it up on your feet for Mr. Rayford Johnson. Mr. Johnson, while you were at UCLA, you were a member of the track and field team as well as a starter on Coach Wooden's championship team. Now, you are back on campus. How does it feel to be back on campus as an advisor to the athletic department? Well, I, I always be uh, pleased uh, to be on campus. I uh, enjoyed it while I was here. I was inspired then, and I'm still inspired by the way the students perform both on and off the field of competition, so I'm happy to be here. We are happy to have you, sir. Thank you. And he is a man 
one, as I mentioned, that knows a little something, a little something about igniting inspiration and lighting the fire. I mean, 1984 Olympics, are you kidding me? So, Rafer Johnson, do you have some words of wisdom for these Bruins as they ignite this fire and light the way into that victory on Saturday? Well, my heart uh, has been with this university, uh, seems like all my life, but certainly in the 1950s uh, and into the 60s, I uh, was actually a student on campus. And I got my first real love for this university, first of all, when I got in here as a student, and secondly, when I was elected student body president. So I, I, I just love being here. I love being here. And my and track, uh, I, I, as an individual, I beat them several times individually. And finally, as a, as a team in track and field, we won in Berkeley in 1956, the first NC2A track team to, uh, from UCLA to win the title. And SC was in the losing group. So I enjoyed that. Uh, then I was fortunate enough to play basketball for Coach Wooden. And I can say this, that the, the three years I played for Coach Wooden, we played freshman ball in those years. I played three varsity years. I never lost to USC. <laughs> I'm going to let you speak. I mean, they want to hear you. And I remember how that felt. And we are going to have the same feeling with an inspired football team and student body on Saturday. Now, SC goes down. SC goes down. You heard the man. You heard the man. Give it up for Rafer Johnson and your UCLA Bruin Olympians.